All right, just a quick note too before we get moving here. You're gonna notice that the screen is crooked. Uh, it's not the camera that's crooked. It's literally my screen that's crooked. I, I mounted my TV to the wall like a few weeks ago, and yeah, uh, I didn't use a leveler, which I guess I should have. So, you know, uh, jokes on me, right? But yeah, so the picture's gonna be crooked. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm very sorry about that. And my apologies, but it's not something I can just you know fix immediately. I literally gotta change spaces on the cement wall. Anyway. Let's keep going. So our fat frame just fell off the ledge, so... Jump in the fire! Ah! This be the generator. This said it could explode any minute. I want to get out of here. Click your heels together three times! Oh, this is together. I barely noticed that. What's he doing huddled in a corner? Trying to hide? Oh, maybe. How am I supposed to get there? Walk up the stairs? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Excuse me, do I know you? Your name is... Martin. Martin, I said. Martin likes pie, too. No. Can you tell me my name? How the hell should I know? How can you stand all of them? Buzzing. Constantly buzzing. Did I think G-Man took lessons from this guy? Gordon Freeman, Harry Gilder, where what is, is this? What is this place? Uh, nut house, you fool. Well, at least this guy knows what he's talking nut about. Nut house? It looks so old. What do you mean? Nut house. Looney bin. Funny farm. What don't you understand? Well, there's a lot I don't understand. For starters, why are you here? Damn bugs. Are driving me crazy, and I'll find their hive one day. <laughs> Doc Morgan's a great help. We'll squash them, and that'll be that. Are the bugs in your pants, Martin? It's very important that I know. Doc Morgan, he might be a pedophile. What bugs, Martin? I don't see any. Maybe they're not real. Are you serious? These blood-sucking insects are bent on destroying the world. In my pants. Martin, think about it. How are some bugs going to destroy the world? In your pants, well, er. look at them. These aren't normal bugs. These is robots. Little eeny, eeny robots. In my pants, er. How'd everyone go? Where is everyone? How? All of them. When the alarm went off, they left us behind. I'm really keen on it. In my pants. Alright, sure, sure. There's sure. a doctor around here? Doc Morgan? Where is he? Exterminator. That's what he is. The best there is. He killed bugs. Dead. But they always come back. They always come back. Poor guy, Jesus. Alright. A power cable. I better not touch it with my hands. That's actually a lamp, but okay. I guess I can't agree with the lamp. A power cable. Oh. Well, I take it I gotta get over there. Looks like some sort of control panel. There's a walkway, but it's retracted. Uh huh. Alright. Yep, you're looking at Adventure Game Veteran number one right here. The most implausible thing, do it! If something is impossible, then just do it. That's what you do. It's just like me, I became the governor. A towel. Yep, alright. Use this shit. Get over there. Cow bum. Whoa! Oh, that's fast. Wow, what jerky animation you have there, Grandma. Beep. Nice. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Alright. Oh, open sesame. Dun, dun, dun. Well, there's a guy chicken dancing over there. This reminds me of Resident Evil safe room. I don't know, there should be music in here. Let's see. The drawers are held shut by an electronic lock. By an electronic. Electronic. Uh, 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 electronic look. Electronic look. Okay. Now what? Don't break a nail. There must be something valuable in there. But how do I open it? 
Come on, come on. You don't pull on it, that's for sure. Shut up the desk. Hmm, what's wrong with this thing? What's this thing? Hmm, the cables need to be plugged in before I can use the VCR. I see no VCR there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my god, how do I do this? Uh, black cable goes to red plug. Fuck, ah, blew up. Whoop. And see you. And the blip. There we go. Play that shit. Can you hear me? It's Dr. Morgan. Your delusions almost took the life from you this time. My face, it's in bandages. Where am I? Who am I? You must have thought you had somewhere important to go when you stole that car. Oh, no. You did a lot of damage to that face of yours in the crash. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe. No apologies. All we need is your best effort. And before you can give us that, you need some rest. Bruce, help our lad back to his room. Don't worry, son. We'll talk again soon. Satan melts the ECR. Oh, shit. What? That short circuit opened the safe. Nice. Convenient, right? I'll take that little hand or whatever the hell that is. Some strange kind of key. Oh! The key to what? Key to the statue of a Jew. I mean, statue. Not Jew. What am I talking about? And some files. What? No. An ace? File cabinet. Could be answers in here. Yes, it could. Can I use it? There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Memo. A memo regarding the tower bridge. Due to recent problems with the generator, all employees are asked to keep the tower bridge extended at all times. It will be extremely difficult to extend the bridge from the outer ring should the power go out. How would you even do that anyway? There's no button over there. Wait, wait, wait. How is that even retracted? Because you can only do it from that side. There's no one in here unless they fucking jumped out the window. A letter Which from I guess Dr. Morgan from a isn't completely impossible. Something about an ancient key Hold found on. here in the asylum. The key you described must be very old indeed. I have found documentation that may link it to Aztec culture. Though we'd have to examine the object carefully here at the Institute in order to confirm this theory. And by that I mean test it. And by that I mean bang on it with hammers and see if it explodes or something. A memo from the Chief of Security. Oh. It gives some details about a patient escape, number 227. The memo says that the West Wing is inadequately contained, and all oh, the patients have been transferred This guy is very enthusiastic about his action tower cells. Here. But where are they now? Uh, well, there's one there, and some one there. Come on, dude, open your eyes. Alright, well, I'll put that key in that thingy. See what happens. Like that every time you enter exit you wouldn't get too close to the what? edge. How was it? I was going this way. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. There we go. See what happens. <clears throat> oh, cutscene looks like. One messed up face. Must have driven his car off the cliff and into some jagged rocks. Poor guy. Whoa, what? And so Asheron opened the portal into the earth. For all the Empyrean's uh, way. What? It is no, it is so dark. Oh my home. Oh, once bright tower, what has become of you? You you're alive. Am I going mad? That's like, run! This dad just fucking eat me! Innocent are dying, and you only think of yourself. Yeah. Well, can you not boy. see the light of heaven has dim? What? What can I do? Seek the truth. Whoa. Okay. I knew the statue was gonna eat him. Did I call that? See, I would have gotten my ass out of there. 
The Innocent Abandoned. What is this? Looks like a graveyard or something? A fence? Gas station? I don't know. Okay. Not what I expect. Oh, am I in control again? Okay. So, it looks like the statue from the tower. Because, well, it's not quite the same one, I guess. Looks a little bit different. All right, well, let's see. Huh. Oh, cutscene. Hey, you big dog. Get out of our life. Come on, Billy. Let's play. You're not supposed to. Okay, okay. They've been infected by the corpus disease. No. Let's go see a fat dwarf on spider legs and get that corrected immediately. Her hands and face are deformed. Yeah, no kidding. I saw that too. Who are you, young lady? Oh, she's beautiful. Jesse Hatcher. What's yours? Uh oh, cutscene. Okay. I. Uh, my name is I, Old Lady I Shoes. Remember my name. Well, Mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you better leave. Who's your mom, kid? She the mayor. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother is everywhere. Is Jeebus? Chase us! All right, what about this guy? Great, a bratty kid with two mouths. Hey, um, kid. Uh, what's your name? My name's Billy. What's yours? My name is Cutscene. Carpet. No, my name is Grimwall. I am a superhero. Oh. I, I can't remember my name. Try harder. Well, mother won't let me talk to strangers, so you better leave. Where's your mother? I'd really like to speak to her. Mother only talks to us kids, not a big poop head like you. Oh, well, thank you. It's lovely of you. I'm gonna go kill myself now, because I'm getting told by little kids. Fish? This place must hold some clues. The fish house? Alright, if you say so. <clears throat> Get stuck on scene. Oh, there we go. There's a person, let's talk. This girl has two wooden legs. Oh, as opposed to one or three. Who are you? Megan Jarms, but you can call me Peg Leg. Peg Leg? That's what all the kids call me. Really? But that's mean. I would never call you that. Thanks, mister. You're nice. What's your name? I sense a cutscene. Max, huh? Max? Sarah would like to see you now. Max and Sarah, all right. My name is Max. That's a nice name. Hey, now you aren't a stranger. That's right. Well, I'm gonna cut the video real fast. <laughs>